Welcome back. Today we're going to be starting Chapter 3, and we're going to be talking about different types of cells. Now, we have asked you to learn a whole list of cell types, and we have given you a Quizlet set to work on these and try to memorize them. But like everything else, it is much easier to memorize if you understand what you're talking about. So I wanted to take a moment to walk through some medical terminology with you. Let's start with the idea of prefixes and suffixes. A prefix is something at the beginning of a word, and whenever you see that prefix, you are able to predict something about that word. For example, in this list, you might see the prefix osteo. This means bone. So any word that you see with the prefix osteo means bone. A suffix is something at the end of a word. You might see the suffix sight quite a bit. Sight at the end of a word means a mature cell. So if you put these two, prefix and suffix, together, you get osteocyte. An osteocyte is a mature bone cell. Changing the prefix simply changes the type of cell we're talking about. So for example, if you change the prefix to chondro, chondro means cartilage, and still use suff the suffix site, you end up with a chondrocyte. So instead of an osteocyte, which is a mature bone cell, a chondrocyte is a mature cartilage cell. There's a bunch of different sites on this list. And if you know the prefixes for them, then they're really easy to remember what they are. Erythro means red, leuco means white, and myo means muscle. So erythrocyte is a red blood cell, leukocyte is a white blood cell, and a myocyte is a muscle cell. Changing the suffix changes the type of cell we're talking about. So we can use osteo still, but this time we're going to use blast as our suffix. Now a blast is a cell that builds the matrix, it secretes matrix of that tissue. So if you put them together, an osteoblast is a bone cell that builds bone. We can substitute in chondro as the prefix to have a type of cell that builds cartilage. Fibro means fibers, and so a fibroblast is the type of cell that builds connective tissue. Connective tissue is made out of fibers. And we already learned about myo. Myo means muscle, so a myoblast would be a type of cell that builds muscle. Many cells aren't really characterized this way, but understanding the naming conventions that are used will get you about 80% of this list taken care of very quickly. Some of the one-off cells would be like goblet cells, mast cells, NK cells. They're just Langerhans cells. They're either named after somebody that found them, or I don't even know why some of these are named these things. This is a reminder that learning prefixes and suffixes is a helpful tool because we often reuse these words, myo, osteo, chondro, you're going to see those all over the place, sight, blast, you're going to see them in a lot of places. And it doesn't work just for types of cells, it works for the entire course, AMP. If you look at these two words, students freak out when they see these because they're really long and they don't know how to pronounce it. But if you pull them apart and use the prefix and the suffix and try and figure out what they're talking about, it can help you figure out what these are. Sternocleidomastoid is a muscle in the neck. And if you pull it apart, sterno is the sternum, clido is the clavicle, and mastoid refers to the mastoid process on the skull. Putting them together, sternum, clavicle, skull, you know exactly where this muscle is. Likewise, the juxtaglomerular apparatus, juxta means next to. Glomerulus is a structure in the nephron, and apparatus just means structure. So juxtaglomerular apparatus, we know it's right next to the glomerulus. So that helps you remember where these things are. Remember structure, function, locations. Thanks for listening. See you in class.